channel. My name is Mary and today I will talk about John Florio and Shakespeare. In my last video I mentioned some misleading stories and misinformation regarding John Florio and Shakespeare. So I think that it is time for you to know the truth about this relationship. Let's start with a very simple question. Did Florio and Shakespeare know each other? Number one. John Florio never mentioned Shakespeare in his works. Number two, we don't have documents or letters in which Shakespeare mentions John Florio. So we don't have documents that prove that Florio and Shakespeare were ever in the same room. But we can suppose that they at least knew each other. Why? Number one, they had the same patrons. The first patron that Florio and Shakespeare had in common was Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester. Robert Dudley was Florio's first patron. The Earl of Leicester was the patron of the Leicester's man, of which Shakespeare was a member. Leicester's man was the first theatrical company to be formally registered. When Florio published his first work in 1578, First Fruits, Prefatory poems were written by the company of Lace's men, Richard Tarton, John Bentley, Robin Wilson, and many others. John Florio was already in contact with the Laces man in 1578. At the time, Shakespeare was a 14 years old boy and he was still in Stratford. He joined the company 10 years later, around 1588-1589. Um, their mutual friend could have been the famous stage clown Richard Tarton or Robert Wilson. Florio and Shakespeare also share their second patron. Harry Risley, the Earl of Southampton. Florio was a Titchfield, a tutor, secretary, and Harry's close friend from 1591 to 1598. Shakespeare dedicated Venus and Adonis and the Rape of Lucrece to Harry Risley. In the same years, John Florio worked as tutor and close friend of Harry. But there is no trace of Shakespeare at Titchfield, so we don't know if he ever lived with the Earl of Southampton like John Florio did. Florian Shakespeare also share the third patron, William Herbert, the Earl of Pembroke. Florian bequeathed his library to the Earl of Pembroke and mentioned him in his testament and dedicated his Decameron to William Herbert. Shakespeare's first folio is dedicated to the Earl of Pembroke, published three years later. Florian Shakespeare also had many friends in common. Both men were intimate with Ben Johnson and Samuel Daniel. Ben Johnson defined Florio as his loving father and friend. Samuel Daniel was Florio's closest and most important friend, testified by the many dedications that he brought in Florio's works. Edward Blond published works for both Shakespeare and Florio. The first folio portrait of Shakespeare and Florio's second edition of Montana's Says were done by Martin Groshaw. Florio was a close friend of Philip Sidney, Edmund Spencer, Giordano Bruno, Vincenzo Saviolo, Earl of Essex, the same circle of Shakespeare's friends. Florio and Shakespeare also had some enemies in common, like Thomas Nash and Robert Greene. The Menophon, written by Green in 1589, contains the first mention of Shakespeare as Johannes Factotum. We know that Shakespeare never replied to these attacks. On the contrary, John Florian, 1591, two years later, the Second Fruits attacked Thomas Nash and Robert Green. And in a word of words, published in 1598, he also attacked Thomas Nash, John Eliot, and Hugh Sanford. Florio and Shakespeare also share the same rank of groom of the private chamber. 
Florio lived at court for many years as Queen's closest confidant, her personal secretary and tutor. Florio also had an important political role with foreign ambassadors and was involved in the court entertainments. There aren't letters or documents about Shakespeare at court, but we know that he also was groom of the Privy Chamber, like John Florio, until he decided to retire in Stratford in 1611. Florio lived at court at least until the death of Queen Anne of Denmark in 1619. Then he retired in Fulham with his wife, Rose Spicer. Did they ever write letters to each other? No. Did Florio mention Shakespeare in his works? No. Did they share the same circle of patrons and friends? Yes. From as early as 1578 to at least 1611, they shared the same circles of patrons and they had many friends and enemies in common. I hope that you liked this video. Let me know in the comments if you want to know other information about John Florio and Shakespeare, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay resolute. Bye!